Thank you everyone for attending today. Friends from the media fraternity, academics, politicians, activists, we welcome you. We would have preferred to do so under different circumstances, but we are where we are. What made Jamal Khashoggi so distinguished? What made his story so dominant on top of the media agenda for so long a period? It is my view that it relates to his message, his message of universality, of universal views, freedom of expression, justice, equality, the right to ownership, the right to assemble. All of these he stood for and he articulated consistently for decades. And this is why he appealed to a global audience. Myself, I was visiting South America last week and did many interviews all on this subject. Tremendous interest in him. And as my colleague says, we at the Middle East Monitor feel a sense of duty to come together with our partners and colleagues at the Shark Forum to honor his memory, to pay tribute to him for his achievements over the years. But Jamal, on an internal level, he had certain views about his homeland, transparency in governance, accountability, consensus, in a word, democracy. He called for these, but these were not uh, welcomed. And so the messenger was killed, but the message remains. His message remains with us and we believe that long after those who murdered him have gone, his message will continue to influence and impact upon people, not only in the Middle East, but well beyond. So it is uh, with great uh, sadness, but at the same time a sense of optimism that good will come out of this tragedy, despite the pain and despite the hurt, we think uh, uh, people uh, across the world will remember Jamal and will celebrate uh, uh, his memory and continue to work for those things which he strived for and for which he paid his life. In closing, we offer one simple message to those who murdered him. We say that you do not know what you have missed. And you will never, in a long period of time, be able to replace Jamal Khashoggi. He was a visionary. He was an ambassador. He was a true patriot of your country. But you silenced him. And all that is left for you to do today, we send this message to you from London. Hand over his body to his loved ones, to his children, to his fiancée. Hand over. He deserves a dignified burial as any other human being. It's a fundamental right, and we call upon you to do so. My final word is a word of welcome to our sister and friend, Khadija. She's here tonight, and she accepted our invitation, even though she turned down an invitation from Washington to the White House. This is a mark of respect for the work that we at Ashadok Forum and Middle East Monitor have been doing over the years, and we thank her for honoring our invitation. And thank you also for coming and being with us. Thank you. <laughs>